Hey guys, it's Monday and I'm back for another weekly vlog. I'm at the consignment store right now getting ready to take a tote in. Uh, the way this consignment store works, and they're all different, so just note that when I'm telling you how this one works, probably the ones in your area won't work like that. This is a chain of stores in Iowa, There's, but it's small. There's only six of them. Most consignment stores are, you know, single location mom and pop type stores. But the way this one works is that... Uh, you have to uh, first set up your account and then you can make appointments to bring things in or you can buy a black bag for $2.99, fill it up and drop it off anytime. And that's what I have. I actually have two black bags because when I first started here, they used to actually, you would just drop it off and they would take it and process it and then you would have to come back and pick up your bag. So I would like drop a bag off, fill another bag up, come to get the empty bag, drop the full bag, blah, blah, blah. Recently though, they've changed it and uh, you go in, you uh, give them your bag, they empty it out there so you get your, whoa, whoa! So you get your bag back, which I really like. It makes it a lot more convenient because you don't have to come back, get a bag, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have actually had these things for a couple weeks now, but I've been waiting because this past weekend they had their big 50% uh, off the entire store sale. So I wanted them to get that done with first before I came and I dropped off new stuff. But I have about three totes worth of stuff to bring this week. So hopefully I'll just uh, be able to get out, make some more trips and get stuff in here. To date, I am almost at the $300 mark of the money I've made here. Uh, and for me, I just consider that making the money back uh, from what I originally spent on things because most of it's eBay duds. Not all of it. I do bring stuff from the house um, because I don't have to have a garage sale. And that's how they promote this store. It's like, why have your own garage sale when you can bring it here? And that's exactly the truth. I basically get garage sale prices, although I have gotten some higher prices on some clothes and things. But for the most part, it's garage sale prices and that works perfectly fine for me. So going to go in and drop off my first tote of several for the week. There they are, bringing stuff in, taking stuff out. They have this building and then they have a second building over there. I don't know if you can see it, where all the furniture is because they've expanded so much. So they do a lot of advertising. This is in a very uh, heavily trafficked area of town. So they take 60% of the cut which is a lot. Most consignment stores take 50 or 40. But again, they're huge. They get a ton of traffic. They advertise and they tend to price a little higher. So in the end, it is worth it. And like I said, it makes it so I don't have to have a garage sale of my own. The consignment store is right by Aldi's. So I'm going to go into Aldi's. We need bananas and apples. And this is the closest store. I very rarely, rarely ever go in here, maybe once a year or two, you usually just get bananas, but I'm gonna try to look around a little day. Um, I'm alone, usually my dad's with me, he's like, I wanna go home, let's leave, let's go. So I'm by myself today, so I can maybe spend a little more time looking around. I got my quarter cart, I brought my bags in, and now I'm just gonna take my time, look around. Ooh, popcorn, chips. Why do they put the snacks right when you come in? Yeah. Oh, chocolate. I've heard their chocolate's pretty good. What do you guys think? Seriously, the line is insane. Okay, so I am finally out of there. That was a bit stressful. Um, there were people everywhere. I couldn't film because I would take the camera out and there would be people. And it's just one girl walks by me. She's like, oh, that's so smart. You're taking pictures of things. I love all these. Like, oh gosh go away then there was a woman who was just following me like we were in a line you know and she was just glued to me and that was just driving me nuts so I got away from her then yeah oh then the line to get out was crazy I couldn't figure out how to get my quarterback I'm like is it rocket science over there fortunately there was a young mother she had a child plus she was pregnant she was coming up like here take my cart I couldn't uh, uh. But I will show you what I got when I get home. I'll do a little haul. So I spent $39. I did get quite a bit of stuff. Kind of just try to get a variety to try some different things. So I'll show you what that, uh, what's in my haul when I get home. Okay, here is everything I got at Aldi's. So I paid $39 for everything. First is this Ghirardelli double chocolate brownie mix. These are really good. And they had them for $1.89. And the regular price on these is to 19 Target, so not a huge savings, but you know, still a savings. 
Um, my dad likes to have muffins and little cakes, so I got this lemon loaf, these mini pancakes, and cinnamon toast sticks. My dad likes these, so um, I, thought, I can't remember exactly what the prices were and everything, forgive me, but um, like I said, $39 for everything. This is the cereal my dad likes. He likes the Kellogg's brand, the Crunchy Raisin brand, so I thought I would try this brand because this was $1.99. Um, which is a bit less. I think it's $2.99 regularly at the store. Um, so we'll see if you like that. Got some microwave popcorn because, <laughs> to be honest, the dogs like the popcorn. So I thought this was the healthiest version to get the uh, fat-free little butter on it, but whatever. I got some toasted cheese ravioli because I love this stuff, and it's kind of hard to find. Usually it's filled with meat, and this has the cheese. So excited to try that. Got a bag of chips just to see what their chips were like. Bananas, they were $0.44. Cents. A pound or was it 44 cents a bag I don't know but I got two bags got some apples uh, gala apples the apple signs I couldn't find gala but yet they had gala the most so I don't know I think it was 2.99 I'm not sure uh, some applesauce my dad likes those some raisins this do uh, bar of chocolate these steaks I thought I'd try those some cranberry white cheddar cheese a block of Parmesan. That was a good deal. This was only $2.99, so that was definitely a good deal. And then a couple Greek yogurts with the granola on top, and these were $0.99. Cents. So I think that's a pretty good deal on those. So that is everything I got. Let me know what you guys like to get at all these. If you go, leave me a comment below. It is Tuesday, and we had snow last night on top of the snow we already had. I think only an inch, though, so that's not bad. My dad's getting ready to go out and use the snow blower, and these two... Hello, Max. Hello, Lucy. We also cleaned the carpet. We got one of those vacuum cleaners that's, um, it washes the carpet. So a carpet washer. <laughs> uh, because we need it because the dogs have a lot of accidents. Max especially. Uh, so my dad just did this side. So that's blocked off drying. And then this side was last night, which is where most of the accidents happen. So that was a good investment. I got a deal on it on Amazon. Um, for a hundred dollars and to have the carpet professionally cleaned is a hundred dollars and we were having to do that a lot to come in and clean it all up so um, I'll link I'll link that vacuum below if you want to look at it if you have pets and you get a lot of messes it definitely is a good investment so I don't know if I'm gonna go out today I need to go back to the consignment store because I need to drop off Oh, a KitchenAid mixer. Um, if you ever, oh, this is like, be careful what you wish for. Hang on a minute. Okay, this is a be careful what you wish for. I had, I always had the smaller, the regular size KitchenAid stand mixer. And then I got in my head that I needed the big one, the artisan one, the bowl, you know, with the handle. And it's huge. And, you know, oh, that's better. And I bake so much and I should get that. So I, I finally did get it. The problem with that thing was, is that number one, my cabinets, you can see they have they're not as high up off um there's not enough space sorry between the counter and the top of the cabinet it didn't fit in it didn't fit under so I couldn't have it in the kitchen and the thing weighs like 20 pounds so it had to be stored somewhere else if I wanted to bring it I had to bring it out it barely fit on the counter so that was the pain the other thing I hate about it is that it the top if you have the regular KitchenAid mixer the top goes up and down and you can get the bowl out you get this one doesn't it raises up and down, but the top is stationary. So to like get in there, get in the bowl, pour things in, scrape, it was such a pain in the butt. And I'm like, I hate this thing. I absolutely hate it. My other one, I had been using it for so long while the other, while the, that one was in storage because I just loved it so much better. And, but then dropped it, it broke. So then I didn't have any choice, but I'm like, I'd rather use a hand mixer than use that thing. So, oh, I'm going to take it to the consignment store and sell it there. So, lesson learned. Uh, if you do get that big artisan stand mixer, make sure you've got room in your kitchen that it fits. And just know that it's not, you can't move that thing up. It's so annoying. Like, why would you design that? You cannot get into it. Ugh. Anyway, so, I don't know, though. The streets are kind of yucky because it was kind of like an icy snow. So, I don't know if I'll get out today, but... If we do, that's where I'll go. Thank goodness got the snowblower working. There he goes. So we are back now from the consignment store and I found out that they are accepting more 
items right now because they're really low on new inventory. They just had a big sale over the weekend and with it being winter, people don't bring in as much. So she said right now you can bring in two 13 gallon trash bags of items at one time. Normally I just take in one black bag. So I have all of this stuff that I'm uh, been, you know, dividing up, ready to take. And then I have clothes downstairs that I want to take. So my dad and I are now going to go through and get everything out and fill two big garbage bags so we can take those in tomorrow. So that's awesome. And I also cashed out. I had $43 and change. So another payout. And I took my mixer in and they are pricing it at $139.99. I was thinking if I could get $50 for it, I'd be happy. Uh, so if it sells for that price, I'll get 50 plus a little bit more because I get, um, well, I guess what? Yeah, I guess I would get about 50 because they get 40% of the sale price. So hoping that sells that I don't want to have to deal with like Craigslist or people calling and coming over. I hate that. I don't want anybody coming to my house or calling me because I hate the phone and I hate people. <laughs> anyway, so glad that they are taking stuff. I can get a lot more stuff out of here. There's a huge pile of all the spring summer clothes I have that I'm going to take to consignment store. These are fall winter items. I'll have to hold on until they start taking those probably late summer. And then the only clothing that's left listed on eBay is this stuff. So once I get all this out of here, now I will have three empty clothing racks to deal with, but uh, feels good to get out of clothes. It just, if I had, if I needed the money, I could do clothes. I could always get back in it, but right now I just, I don't want to do all my, I like my single item stuff. Definitely burned out on clothes, but not knocking clothes because you really can make good money on them. So if you like clothes yourself, you know, you like go shopping, clothes are definitely worth selling on eBay. Can really make good money on it if it's your thing. Are you glad to see the clothes go? Yes, I am. Do you hate selling clothes? Yes, I do. No more clothes? No more clothes. Uh, unless we get desperate, then can I sell clothes? If, uh, if we were down to the last nickel, yeah. Okay. But otherwise, I don't have to. <laughs> right. That's never going to happen. So, thankfully, we won't have to do it anymore. Got one big bag of shirts, you said? Yep. Awesome. Then we'll fill another bag with the rest of the stuff and take it to the stuff. Max, what's wrong? Max is disgruntled. Are you a disgruntled employee? Huh? We're not having a good day, are you? No. You're wide awake and you're hungry. Or you think you are. Are you starving? No. Lucy being a good girl, aren't you, Lucy? <laughs> oh, you too. You're funny. Oh, shake it out. Shake it out. He snuck up on ya. Are you going night night now with Papa? At seven o'clock at night? <laughs> yep, we're ready for bed, aren't ya? Yeah, you guys like to go to bed early. You like night night time? Yeah, Lucy does. Look at that little face. Oh, Lucy's like, you're gonna rub over for a belly rub, aren't ya? <laughs> She's like, oh, as long as you're here, could you rub my belly? That'd be great. Oh, hi, Max. Max. Oh, Max, you gonna get down your stairs? What do you think you're gonna get from Mommy now? What do you want get at night? Do we get night night treats? <gasps> night night treats! Let's go, let's go get them. Let's go. Night night treats. There we go. Whoa, down the stairs. Come on, Lucy. Night night treats. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's get some night night treats. Let's get some night night treats. Here. Here. We got night night treats. Some for Lulu. <laughs> I have the towel down because that's where Max likes to go to the bathroom. We keep having to clean the uh, carpet, so maybe that'll do. Did you get them all, Lucy? I think you did. I think Max got his. All right, I can go night night. Max and Lucy, Ann and Papa got to go out again. Yeah, guess where we're going? The consignment store. Yep, I think we're going to go to the consignment store every day this week. No, you can't go to the consignment store. You gotta stay home. Yeah, there. Hide behind the garbage can. <laughs> he hides behind the garbage because when we leave, Lucy gets a little upset. Oh boy. Let me guess. It's another political call. I'm always so glad when the Iowa caucuses are over. No more obsessively ringing phone. We're back home from the consignment store, and I also stopped off at Hy-Vee because I had a media mail package, and I have not had any other eBay sales 
Ugh, so I had to drop off the package and they have a postal area there. So drop that off. And then when I was inside, I got my dad a meatloaf dinner. He likes these as well as this broccoli slaw stuff, which he likes. I don't like this, but he likes it. And I'm for anything that he will actually eat. And this will last him actually two or three dinners. So at least I don't have to worry about feeding him. It's such a glare for the next, uh, maybe one or two days. Well, two probably. Okay, Max says, I like some broccoli slaw. I like broccoli slaw and a meatloaf and a mashed potato. Serve it up. <laughs> you were good while we were gone, weren't you? Was Lucy a good girl while we were gone? Yes. You were good girl, boy. So it is almost two o'clock and I've hardly gotten anything done today because Max is just having one of those days where he just is barking, barking, barking because he wants food. We finally put his um, lead on, his leash. Uh, the vet suggested that because he's just a food obsessed dog and to kind of get him to calm down and stay by you. Sometimes she said, just put his leash on and keep him near you and hopefully he will settle down. And it, that did work because now he's ready to, sorry, my phone is slipping. I take a nap with my dad, but hopefully now things will quiet. I'm telling you, I have been up and out of this chair every like three minutes to go out there and deal with some sort of crisis. So anyway, that's what you get from working at home. It's not as easy as it sounds when there are other people here, but I wouldn't have any way. Ooh, shaky, shaky. Um, yeah, so is eBay closed or something? Because I haven't had an eBay sale. Uh, and this is day two now and it's super slow and I do have stuff listed. I did get new stuff listed. I'm running auctions nothing going on so I'm not sure what to do about that but this is a good time for me to work on my book I am gonna get another book up here by the end of the week hopefully so uh, get some quiet time and I can finish that finally it is Thursday morning and after I eat this donut we're gonna go to the consignment store shocker every day this week every day because then I have another bag to go tomorrow <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna go to Target when I was at Hy-Vee yesterday I got some donuts I, we had a great bakery in our town and they closed after, you know, 40, 50 years and I just can't get a good donut anymore. We have a Dunkin' Donuts and I think they're gross. And then the, you know, uh, grocery stores have donuts, but usually they're icky, but I finally found just like the plain sin or the plain sugar donut. I don't like glaze. I don't like sprinkles. I don't like white frosting. I don't like goop in the middle. I just want a nice plain donut. And if they're not completely plain, then I like a little sugar, but that's it. So getting ready to eat this and then we're heading out. Waiting on another winter storm to come our way. We had a little blanket of snow a few days ago and it looks like we could get another blizzard like storm um, next week, but it's still pretty early. So it could totally blow over or we could totally get a blizzard or we could not, or maybe we will. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So, I'm sitting here in the living room listening to Max Bark, taking a little break before I go back to work, finishing up my book hopefully today. So, be sure to follow me over on my blog at cnsave.com for when the book goes live because I'll be doing a free promo on it, so you don't want to miss that. Details will be on my blog, link is below. Um, yeah, tomorrow is Friday and I'm going to be going to take my dad to get his hair cut. I have to go to the post office and then we're going back to the consignment store once again. So I'm going to wrap it up for the week here and listen to Max Bark because this is how we spend our days listening to Max Bark because he just wants food. Uh, I am told my dad you got to cut down on the snacks and the treats because he just wants it all the time. But anyway, if you like these weekly vlogs, give this one a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more vlogs, hauls, making money online on eBay and now Amazon FBA. Those are the kind of videos I do here on my channel, so hit the subscribe button and check out all my links below for social media, my books, my second channel, see Anne at WDW, where I put my Disney World videos. A new one went live this past Sunday. Another one will go live this coming Sunday, so you don't want to miss those because once I'm caught up on all my 2015 trip vlogs, 2016 trip vlogs will be coming, so look forward to that. So that is it for this time, guys. Now off to take a break and to the sound of barking dogs. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.